Hello viewers, welcome to this exciting video. In this video, we will be looking at uh, the 2021 GCE Science Paper 1, question B7. Question B7 re reads, A. Explain what is meant by 1. Magnetic field. Uh, so they, here they just want us to, to define what a magnetic field is. And then 2. They want us to define what an electric field is. Okay. So, uh, in simple terms, a magnetic field, this is just a region around the magnetic material where the magnetic force can be felt. Okay. Bear in mind that the magnetic force can only be felt by one, uh, moving electric charges. Two, it can be felt by magnetic materials such as iron and so on and so forth but for non-magnetic materials the magnetic uh, field cannot be felt all right so uh, uh, in simple in simple terms this is the region or the area around the magnetic uh, substance so Can be felt or can be experienced. Uh, it should also be noted that the magnetic field can not can it also exists uh, in the region around uh, an electric charge. So that should also we should also bear in mind the magnetic field can also be around an electric field so around an electric field you have two fields you have an electric field and you also have a magnetic field so it can also exist on an electric charge all right so electric field what is an electric field an electric field this is a region this is a region around an electric uh, uh, around a charged particle okay this is a region around a charged particle where the electric field can be felt by another uh, charged particle or substance so So that is that is that we go to uh, we go to B. B is saying complete the diagram in figure B seven point one B to show the pattern and direction of magnetic field lines in the space around the bar magnet. All right. So this is relatively simple. The rule of thumbs is that. Uh, magnetic field lines uh, and emit from the north and they enter the magnetic the magnet on the south pole so always make sure that the field lines okay 
always come from the north, come out from the magnet from the north, and they always enter from the south. Second, magnetic field lines never cross each other's paths. So uh, it means that you have something like that, like that. Even here, you have something. So you have something like that and also something like that. Then they will be those that will come like that. Okay, so and moving in that direction. So that is the diagram. The, the magnetic field lines are coming out from the north and they are entering the magnet back on the south pole. They never cross each other's paths. Okay, they never cross. All right, so that is how the diagram is supposed to be. We go to C. C. Figure B 7.1C shows a positively charged sphere placed near to an initially uncharged isolated conductor AB. Complete the diagram to show the charge induced in the diagram. So the charge induced. So uh, the sphere here, the rule of thumbs is that the charge that is going to be near the sphere should be the charge opposite to the charge that the sphere has. So if the charge in this case is positively charged, it means that the side nearest to the sphere should have a negative side and the side furthest from the sphere will have the same charge as the sphere which will be positive. Now you cannot just write a single negative and a single positive inside uh, the, the object you need to have equal distribution of these two charges. So if it is negative, you need more than, you need more than two of these negative signs. So we're going to start one, two, three. You also put three positives there, three positives. Then again, one, two, three, one, two, if the number of negative is not the same as the number of positive, it means that the charge distribution is wrong. And therefore, the net charge of the whole object will actually also be wrong. So that's the reason why it will be wrong. If the number of positive is not equal to the number of negative, the answer is wrong because the net charge of the whole thing is wrong. Okay. Uh -huh. So those are the things we need to look at. You cannot just write a single negative and a single positive. It means you're just showing uh, the net uh, charges of the two poles. They now become like poles. But here you're looking at charge distribution. All right. We, we move on. Okay. We come to the end of this question. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any concerns, please don't forget to leave the concerns in the comment sections. I will gladly get back to you. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you are notified in every time we actually have a video. Thank you very much.